guys, it's Megan and today we are just going to have fun, run a few errands that I have to do and we are not going to think about the real world, which is why I need to get out of the house, <laughs> but I'm sure you have seen everything that has been going on in the States and we just need to get our mind off of things. So. I am going to show you a few things. I brought a little bag of things that I want to show you. And first and foremost, I need to show you guys these sunglasses, which are now going to be deemed Don't Talk To Me Sunglasses 2.0. And I will link these down below because you will not believe how cheap they are for how amazing they are. So they came with this like um, velvety type of case and they are fabulous you guys so if you love big oversized sunglasses you're gonna die over these because they are jai freaking enormous and my straight hair does not do them justice i feel like i need like that big ass like curly hair or like pull it back and be like just super in your face like these are elton john af like they are ginormous and I've been wanting really big sunglasses like these for a while but all the ones that I want of course are like a hundred or two hundred dollars so I went on my scavenger hunt on Amazon and these I got for $5.99 and they are perfection and I didn't even know they would come with a case and like the cloth and everything and this is the type of case that you can like fold down and then it's like really small but honestly these are so cheap I wouldn't really ever put them in a case but they are phenomenal and it is actually sunny today yesterday when everything was going insane it was so gloomy outside like it was just an omen I feel like but um these are fabulous <laughs> You can see I love them so much and I am going to try not to wear them because I like to look at you eye to eye but speaking of my hair I wanted to remind you guys about the way super dry shampoo so this is I wash my hair Monday and today is Thursday and it looks great like it doesn't look super oily I only apply dry shampoo today which when I wear my hair straight and I was like experimenting this week not using the um, spin in curl just to see how long my hair stays fresh looking even without it because I feel like when I style my hair it looks better for longer but honestly my hair looks great and it's the way detox dry sh or shampoo that you use in the shower and then when I need touch-ups I use this super dry shampoo and it's miraculous honestly if you have an oily scalp try the way detox dry, dry <laughs> why do I keep saying dry shampoo it's just the shampoo detox shampoo it changed my hair it is amazing and then I wanted to tell you about my lip combo. So I use the um, Natasha Denona bronze palette for my eyes and I love it because I was leaning into like the burnt orange color of the shirt I'm wearing and I've been wearing this Levi's like trucker jacket thing. I just cannot stop wearing it. It's the coziest thing in the world. It's like fully lined with like the fuzziest material ever and the vlog that's going up tomorrow will be like a week ago <laughs> so I'm seeing you guys basically in real time but the vlog you see next will be from a week ago and I think I show getting this and I have been wearing it non-stop so the lip combo I wore to pair with it I wanted to do like a nude lip so I use the Lancome natural mauve lip liner which is just a really great like mid-tone pink but it's not too pink because you guys know I don't love pink. And then I used my L'Oreal Shining Peach. And you will see on Sunday my Project Pan intro. This is in my Project Pan. So I really, really like this combo. I normally wouldn't do more of a pink with the bronzier eye, but I don't know, I just kind of like it. 
And then the last thing I want to show you guys, I bet you can hear it, are nail polishes. And I wanted to show you them in the natural light because I feel like that's just the best way to see nail polish. So I did a haul from Cirque Colors and the one I'm wearing right now is called Velveteen. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot get over this. I painted these, I think on Monday, and they are still perfect. And this is just like the prettiest kind of gray blue with a copper shift. And then I doubt you'll be able to see, but it has super, super micro holographic glitters in it that when I'm like looking up close, it's just like a galaxy. It is so beautiful. And this is a small business, which is awesome. So that is the first one I wanted to wear. And then this one is a similar formula. This is called Isle of Capri. And this is like a blue, purple, iridescent, I don't think it's a duochrome, but then it has all those little sparkles in it. So I can't wait to wear that. That is such a happy color. Then this one is one of their holographic and this is called Ambrosia. And I just love that it's a really, really deep, deep burgundy with that holographic. And again, I don't know how well it can be captured. Like even just looking at it right now, you have to get the right angle to see it, but it is so pretty. And then this one is so unique. This is called Mosaic. And this is like a deep kind of, I don't know what you would call this, like a dingy olive. And then it has the gold flecks of glitter. Oh my God. It is so beautiful and unique. And then I, so when I was Googling them, they had this old duo at Nordstrom and I don't know if it's still there but these are two of their cream polishes and it was in a set so this is a fiori which is a cream like baby lavender it is so pretty and then trumpliole which is like a lime like yellow i don't know i don't know if it's lime green or yellow but it's like a pastel which i love so this was such a fun set and it was on major sale. So it was like two for the price of one, essentially. So those were all the Cirque Colors polishes I got and I definitely want to try more. They just came out with a multi-chrome collection, I think, and they are beautiful, but I commented on their Instagram to ask if they are permanent because if they are permanent I wasn't gonna like go crazy and buy them right away so I'm really trying to be good start the year off right and all um and they said they're permanent so I will definitely try those eventually but now I am going to go and I have to do a target pickup order I'm picking up something at Ulta I should get my prescription at Costco, but I don't know if I'll have time. And then um, I'm picking up lunch for the fam. So let's roll. I also wanted to tell you guys that I tried the new Starbucks pistachio latte. And I did it when there were double stars yesterday. And it's good. I'm not going to say it's not good, but it's not sweet enough for my preference. It's just very like smooth and obviously that's a good thing, but my friend Caitlin said it perfectly. It's like a less sweet, um, what is that called? It's like a less sweet, um, chestnut praline, which I feel like is already not very sweet in my opinion. So... It wasn't my favorite, it's not like I hate it or anything, but when I got home and I tried it, um, I tried it by itself and I liked it, but then I added a pump of the Monine Salted Caramel Syrup and it was so much better. So, not my favorite, but I would try it if you've been interested in it. I look insane with a mask and these giant sunglasses. You can't even see me. <laughs>
Our mail person is literally coming right now. I wonder if I have a package. Nope, she just drove away. But I am back from all my errands. I ended up just going to Target for my pickup and getting my prescription at Costco because I really need my prescription. I only have one day left of the pills. And then Ulta, I didn't really need anything. I just wanted to go and see two things and I was just like, whatever. So I got our Target order and this is like a random assortment of stuff that I felt like you guys might be interested. I love seeing people's like groceries and stuff like that. So I got my favorite cereal. I go back and forth with the Special K almond and vanilla and their probiotic berries. That is what I just finished up today. And so now I'm gonna have this for a while and I love that stuff so much. I got some eye drops. They were 15% off with Target Circle this week. And so I got the Refresh Tears two pack. I have to use eye drops literally every single morning, at least every single morning and night. Usually also after I take my contacts out, ever since I had that eye irritation, my eyes have been so, so dry. And I don't know, so. I got some more eye drops. My dad's favorite Lara bars were on sale. Buy one, get one half off. So he eats the coconut and chocolate chip Lara bars. My mom loves pistachios, especially the ones that are like pre-shelled. And so Target apparently has like one of the best prices for pistachios, even if they're not on sale. So we got her two bags of those. And she said they're harder to find lately. So I don't know if there's like a shortage of pistachios or something. Rachel wanted this. Oh my God, this is so small. So she's been hearing about the Smart Sweets, which are apparently like less sugary, more natural or something like that. This little bag, which is pretty much all air, was like $2.99 or something. That's really expensive. So they better be amazing. We got the um, peanut M&Ms for Valentine's Day and the normal ones because it was 15% off M&Ms through Target Circle plus 20% off of Valentine's candy. And my parents had to buy Valentine's candy for Christmas. So I'm pretty sure the closer we get to Valentine's Day, they're just gonna put out Easter stuff. So I figured I'll just get that. And I think that was everything. So just kind of like some snacky stuff. And I don't know. I think that's kind of fun to see what people get. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming out and about with me for a little bit. I just really needed to get some fresh air. And I'm so glad it's sunny today. That really, really helps my mood. And if you're into ginormous sunglasses, definitely check these out because... They are fabulous for sure <laughs> and ridiculous, but I love that. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing okay. Be sure to take care of yourselves and just do what you need to do to stay sane during all of this craziness. And I will see you very soon. Bye.